saw a comment from the week two vlog asking how I stay so motivated or like how do I keep the motivation during a workout. Music is a big help. Like, let me turn this up. I really don't know the worst of this song. Sometimes I close my eyes and envision the body that I want, the shape that I'm gonna be in, you know, running around, playing basketball, dunking on my son, and there's nothing he can do about it because he's too little. That's what gets me motivated. Just envisioning my goal, and, you know, not letting you all down. I'm filming this week per week. You think I should be going up in weight again and letting you all down? Like, no, hell no. I know I'm on a mission. I know I got work to do. I know that everybody's counting on me because a lot of people started their workouts and their diets too. And if I let them down next Monday when I post the video, then what the fuck am I even doing this series for? You know, what am I even doing it for? This is what it's all about, this journey right here. This is what keeps me motivated. Time to start the back workout the same way I did the last week. We are gonna start with some pull-ups to get my back right. So, last time I did two of the wide and then I switched to the close neutral. So this is underhand when you have your palms facing you. This is overhand when you can see the top of your hand. This is neutral. It's not facing this way or this way, this is neutral. So if anybody in any gym tells you to do something neutral, you should be like this, be like, yeah, Jay taught me that shit. All right, so um, I'm gonna do wide, which means like this. And I only did two last time, so let's see if I made any progress from week two to week three. And then after I do one set of that, I'm gonna do the other four sets, close neutral. I only got four reps each time, so if I can get one more rep each time, so five total, um, then that's progress. So let's do this. And I see the comments talking about this bakery. Gotta get at least three. Gotta get at least three. Progress is progress. Doesn't matter how big or little. Be proud of yourself sometimes. So I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Now, four sets of neutral. Oh, and one more thing. I'm doing shoulders again, too. And I'm gonna warm my shoulders up like this, right? And a lot of people are like, what if I don't have weights? Like, you said that's the best shoulder movement to do, but I don't have weights. Well, look here. If you have like a jug like this or something in your house where you can hold it like a handle, fill it up with water, and then, you know, just raise it up like this. If you only have one, put one hand here, raise it, just like that. Just raise that bitch, as many reps as you can. Just be like, ugh, 999. Thousand, thousand one. It doesn't matter what you have. Weight is weight at the end of the day. But yeah, I'm warming up with these tens real quick. Just trying to get my shoulders warm. You know, let's do a quick little, quick little warm up, and then we get down to business. What you just saw me do was five sets of the bent over barbell rows and lateral raises, so I can work my shoulder. I'm about to do T-bar rows, and I'm about to do front raises with a rope. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But lately, I've been timing my workouts with how I'm going to cook my food. So this is what your boy's gonna do. Oh shit, let me turn this out. Oh, fuck, you guys saw that? Okay, got my pan ready. Let's turn this bitch on, you know what I'm saying? And then I already defrosted some chicken. Here you go. Uh, let's read the macros. It is four ounces per serving, 130 calories, 25 grams of protein, zero carb, two fat. Obviously, if you're gonna go with pure protein, it's not gonna have any carbs, unless it's like breaded or something or seasoned with crumbs, I don't know. But uh, I usually just get like the raw shit, you know? Keep it raw, you understand, you feel me? No, you don't feel me. All right, so I'm gonna open this. And somebody was giving me crap in the comments. Actually, quite a few people were. And I'm gonna need you to stop with that. They were talking about me spraying the avocado um, spray over the chicken. Hey, don't judge. Don't judge. Look, I'm spraying the pan too. What you gonna say now? I'm spraying the pan too, what's up? I'm trying to get at least 100 grams of protein from this bitch. So let's do that. And then, I'm still gonna spray it on top of the chicken. 
What? You're gonna leave a comment now? You're gonna edit your comment saying, never mind, I was gonna compliment you, but never mind. Is that what you're gonna say? All right, so not only am I gonna do that, what I'm gonna do, and I only recommend this for people who sweat really hard, um, I'm gonna put a little soy sauce in here. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, but there's a lot of sodium in that. Well, sodium is actually not that bad for you if you're dieting. Little fun fact, it's actually not bad for you at all because sodium retains water. If you sweat a lot, you're letting a lot of water come out. So, I'm just gonna do a little bit, a little bit, like this, like that. It's a little bit, right? Just gonna do that. And then, what am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do with all that ass? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna open this up. There you go. And, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. A little bit of that, right? I'm just gonna let it cook in vinegar and soy sauce. People who know what adobo is, it's basically like that. I'm just basically making like a miniature version of adobo, like a, a great value Dollar Tree version of adobo, okay? And what else does adobo have, you may say? These things right here, these gold doubloons. No, these are garlic. So I'm gonna put garlic right there, gonna let it cook in there, and mix that around. That smells so good already. It smells phenomenal, and I never say phenomenal. So we're gonna do this too. Oh shit, I spilled something. But yeah. Put a little bit of this pepper too. Yeah, Baldi. Yeah, baby. Last but not least, I'm gonna cover this. Turn on the fan, and we gotta get back to our workout because the grind don't stop. Actually, I gotta wash my hands. You'll see that. You'll see that? Getting underneath the fingernails and shit, you know? Am I really teaching you all how to wash hands right now? Do a little bit of that. I have a bad habit of like wiping my hands on my clothes. I don't know, I've been doing that since I was a little kid. It's stupid, it's childish, it's immature, it's all the above, it's the J way. What's up, Ray? What's up, Ray? What's this boy doing? I leave some food out there, he's acting a fool? Go ahead, wag, hey, wag your tail. Wag your tail. Wag it, see what happens. Wag it, see what happens. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I want to mention something about these last two movements real quick. That's why voiceover Jay is in the building. One thing I noticed that I was doing wrong in the last video was that I wasn't coming all the way up when I was doing these wide grip pull downs. So I made it an emphasis to make sure I come all the way up so I can feel the stretch in my lats. And with this overhead press right here, I noticed that in the last week's video, I wasn't going all the way up. Like I wasn't pushing the barbell all the way up. So I made it an emphasis to do that too. I did five total sets of each of these workouts and that was pretty much my entire back and shoulders workout and my shit was pumped right after the workout i ended up eating the chicken that you guys saw me cooking earlier ate it with some cilantro lime uncle ben's rice and i put some jalapenos on there you know just to give it a little bit more flavor and i also got these fiber gummies that give you five grams of fiber per three pieces and that's actually really damn good look what i have right here this is a can of pringles people think that pringles you know are a bad snack they're not good and you might be right you might be right if you eat a shitload of these, but what I have is the 25% less fat version, and I'm not gonna eat the whole thing in one go, because yeah, that would be a pretty stupid thing for me to do. But, like, there's no such thing as clean eating, in my opinion. It's just about making smart choices and eating things like this in moderation. Like, for 16 chips, you get 140 calories, seven grams of fat, 18 carbs and one gram of protein, but I doubt there's any protein in here. So I'm actually gonna have 16 chips of these. I'm gonna eat them nice and slow. I'm gonna savor every freaking bite. Probably gonna put some of this shit on there while I make my low carb tacos that you guys have been seeing me make a lot. Because I was gonna hit legs, but I think I need to carb up first. I need to get some energy, need to get like some food in my body, and then I'm gonna switch it up. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm eating first, then I'm gonna work out. Usually when I wake up, I like to work out first because I don't know, that's just been my routine since forever. It was my routine the last time I dieted and slimmed down. But yeah, um, it doesn't have to be like that. Like you don't have to work out first, eat later. You don't have to eat first, work out later. It's all preference. But yeah, the thing I wanted to say was that you can have stuff like this. You just have to make sure that you read this. The nutrition labels are very important. Muy importante, okay? Just make sure that you read the labels. If they're super high in fat, or you're not getting a lot of it for the amount of calories it is, then stay away from it. But for something like this, 16 chips, like, let me show you all one time. Let me show you all one time for the homie DJ screw. I'm trying to one hand this shit. So, one of these, I can have 16. Like, you hear that? You hear that? Let me get in the mic. Treat yourself sometimes. This is not a cheat meal. This is not like a cheat snack. This is still me being on point with my diet, but I'm in being able to enjoy things like this. It doesn't have to be this either. You can have other things like, let me show you what else I got. This is some gum. Like sometimes you just want to chew on something. Sometimes you just want to have flavor. I like having gum. Just try to um, educate yourself on the back of nutrition labels. I think I'm gonna show you all what I'm eating right now. That's pretty much the cooked meal already. We gotta hit legs today. So, you know, I'm gonna get a little bit more carbs in. Probably gonna eat like a banana or something. And then try to get like fueled up so I can have a good leg day. But yeah, it's Wednesday, April 21st, like I said. Let's freaking get it. Check me out, everybody, check me out. I'm gonna enjoy this. I am going to enjoy this. Check me out, look. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's heaven on earth. Oh. 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 Hi. What's up, my guy? What's up, Maze? So here's where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. Can't promise you that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise you that we're gonna have some fun. So if you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! It's 10.08 p.m. And look out for this episode of Free Random Games on the channel. It should already be out by the time this video is posted because this is the past and I'm from the future. I just got done making a thumbnail right here for Free Random Games. Every game that I played was a horror game and it made me scream so freaking loud. So my throat hurts, you know, some throat goat type shit. And I was gonna tell you all that I'm so freaking lazy. I am so lazy to work out right now. But I know with this series, a lot of people are counting on me. Like, I'm not just here to just talk shit. I'm here to lead by example. Like, I gotta make progress every single week. And you know what? That's motivation for me. That's motivation for me. So I'm gonna take this thing off, even though it's so comfy. Like, this thing is literally called comfy. And it's not lying. Like, no lies were ever told when I put this thing on. So I'm probably gonna watch Berlin while I'm doing cardio, just to get warm, just to get my legs warm. This shit is not glamorous. Like, dieting and getting in shape is not glamorous. It's actually very repetitive. You do a lot of the same things every day, every week. But you're gonna see changes. And you're gonna see changes in me. And I promise that. So if you're following along, just stay consistent. You might not see changes like first week, second week, but shit, just stick with it. Stick with it because you know I am. You know I'm sticking with it. So I'm gonna get my ass up right now. Ooh, I feel like I gotta take a shit. Okay, so I'm gonna take a shit right now. Warm up, hit legs, hit abs, let's go. I'm gonna keep it real with you all. Um, like when I see myself lifting, like the bench press, squat, even this deadlift over here. I've seen people, you know, deadlift crazy numbers, like four plates, five plates, six plates. If you guys aren't sure what a plate is, basically a full 45 pounds is called a plate in the gym world. So if you ever hear somebody say, oh yeah, you know, I deadlift four plates. That's, you know, four plates on each side. So eight total plates. Anyway, you know, I just like mentioning these things to you just in case anybody's curious about, you know, the little things that I say. But, you know, I see people with deadlift way more than me. Uh, one thing that I don't have that I feel like is a good thing for the gym is I don't have an ego. I don't care how much I lift. I'm just trying to focus on good form, feeling the muscles being worked, and just trying to get better every time because that's the thing I love about being in the gym is that you're competing against yourself. You're not looking at the next person and being like, 
I'm gonna do more than that person right there. Hell no. The only person that you gotta do better than in the gym is yourself because we're all trying to better ourselves. You don't lift because you're trying to make gains for the next person, nah. You're trying to make gains, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to get healthy, you're trying to get bigger for yourself. So, like, I'm not even gonna lie, when I was younger, when I was really into this workout stuff, I would squat 315 on the bar for reps. And now I can't even probably do two plates, which is 225. But like I said, I have no ego. I have no ego, so it's no problem. Like I'm getting back into it. I'm working out for me. I'm getting older. Like there's no reason for me to be doing all that crazy shit because like, what am I gonna do for? Am I a power lifter? Nah, like I'm out here just trying to get it. I'm out here just trying to work. So I wanna tell you all my mindset going into this squat session right here. My focus was to at least get a little bit deeper than I did last time because I noticed when I was recording myself, especially from this angle, I wasn't getting as low as I thought I was sometimes when you're actually in it You feel like you're doing it perfectly But then you watch it back and you're like what in the holiest of fooks was I doing so I felt good about the reps that I was getting here I'm at least hitting parallel, but my legs are actually pretty decent looking and I feel like they respond better to high volume So I do a lot of jumping I do high reps when I do leg movements And I feel like that works better for me when I'm doing legs. Hey, I'm picking you right up off the ground You know what we're getting into right now. We're doing some good old jump squats you know your boy's trying to dunk again i don't want to jump and hit my head on that thing so we're gonna do it all right i'm not stopping you're not stopping i don't care if you unsubscribe after this hey i don't care if this is the weirdest shit you ever seen in your life we getting it right now ready set go oh. <laughs> fuck <laughs> it's just as cringy as the first time four five six i don't give a shit seven hey we trying to get it nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, I'm trying to get it, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh fuck me, suck me, oh suck me, fuck me, senpai, oh that was 20, that was 20, oh that was 20 for you baby, oh shit, oh. paint me like one of your French girls, hey if you're not having fun with this whole dieting thing, this whole working out thing, I don't know, I think you gotta smile. Like you can't be mad all the time. I hype myself up sometimes, I'm like, let's go! But you know, for the most part, I have fun with it. Five total sets of jump squats. Five total sets of jump squats, okay? I'm trying to get at least 20 each set. I just got done doing five sets of those, and then five sets of deadlifts. Fuck, and then I got stiff leg deadlifts, and then I got uh, leg extensions. And we're gonna end it with some uh, hip abductors, like this. You guys saw me do that last week. We're trying to get right. We're trying to get right. All right, let's go. Let's go. Check me out everybody, it is Thursday, April 22, 1.57 a.m. I think my neighbor's leaving. Somebody's outside the garage at two in the morning? Yo, that's straight serial killer vibes. But yeah, it's almost 2 a.m. I still have to hit abs after this, but I have to wake up really early tomorrow. But yeah, I might have to hold up on the abs because I want to give it my all, but I gotta get to bed. I gotta finish up this leg workout. I got two more of the stiff leg deadlifts, two more of the leg extension, and then I gotta do the hip abductors, stretch, because you know it's always good to stretch when you're cooling down. Then I gotta shower, I gotta go to sleep, and I gotta take my protein. Fuck me. It's not even a few hours later. It's already nine. Can you guys see that? 9 a.m.? Oh my god, the time. Yeah, 9 a.m. Uh, I gotta handle some stuff. I'm so tired. So sore already on my legs. I'm doing the massage gun thing. This thing feels so good. This is actually one of the best things that I bought. Look at this. Is the frame rate showing it really slow? No? 
Yeah, this is one of the best things that I bought. It's pretty expensive, but shit, it's a good investment. It's Titty Typhoon! Let me see some titties! I'm super excited right now, everybody. I wanna show you all something. <laughs> I just got this package in the mail. And everybody loves getting packages, right? So, I got some new basketball shoes because your boy's trying to get back into it. And they finally came in. I'm actually trying to one-hand this. Ugh. Hold on, come on. Mother, oh, don't embarrass me in front of my people. Okay, got this. Bam, oh, what's that? What's that symbol? You guys know that symbol? Oh, these are so sexy. Oh, these look so good. I wanna see how comfortable they feel. Oh God, feels like I'm walking on clouds. I'm walking on sun. No, I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Oh, they feel so good. Oh, they feel so good. They look so good. I just wanna taste them. I just wanna feel them on the court right now. How do you all tie your shoes? This is how I do it. Do the double, the double shits. A lot of people like doing that one thing. I don't know, I can't do that one. I gotta do the double shits. But yeah, this is it. You guys are gonna see me hoop in these on Sunday. I'm either gonna hoop in these or I'm gonna hoop in these. I don't know, it depends. It depends on which one I'm feeling. These are super light. Little fun fact, before I started the diet, I could not fit this shirt. Now it's fitting like a schmedium on me. So let's freaking go! Yeah, that's not looking bad. And I'm looking bad. What's up everybody, voiceover Jay back in the building, back with another chest day. Usually when I do chest days, I try to warm up my chest by doing these flies that I'm doing right here. And I like the angle that I'm doing it at because I feel it the most when I close my two fists together, just like you guys saw right now. And then I usually go straight into the bench. I like focusing on form when I go on the bench. A guy told me a long time ago, this jacked ass old bodybuilder, told me that it doesn't even matter how much weight you do if you're just trying to look good. It just matters on good form and getting high quality reps in. Then I ended up doing this V-bar push down for my triceps. I did about 15 to 20 reps. And I think I look in the camera a little bit. No, I don't? Okay, never mind. And then we go to incline on the on the bench press, you know, for the upper pecs. Once again, doing 135 total weight. I'm trying really hard here not to just bounce it off my chest and let my momentum push the weight up. I'm really trying to control the weight. While I'm resting between sets, I'm trying to figure out what to record tonight instead of just like being on my phone and checking social media and looking through my dry ass DMs. I try to figure out what to record because I feel like I want to be efficient with my time. This game right here, Lunch Lady, I don't know. She looks scary as hell. <laughs> She's like a big old bug-eyed freak chasing you through a school. I know I'm gonna be hitting high notes to that. I feel like something's in my throat. No pause on that, I feel like something's in my... <coughs> Yo, choking and gagging. Look, I don't give a damn how many of these you can do. If you are gonna hit chest, you better make sure you do some push-ups. I don't care if you do one, five, 10, a million, you gotta make sure you're getting your push-ups in. It's not right, Raiden. It's not right, boy. Come on, let's tell him. Let's tell him. Let's tell him. Ain't that right, boy? Ain't that right, boy? Yeah? Yeah? That's right? That's right? That's what's up? That's what's up? Let's freaking go. If you can't move your own body weight, that's what you should start with. Your own body weight. As soon as you can master your own body weight, then you can move on to other weights. Yeah. I'm all talking shit. I'm like 226, probably 225 right now. Probably can't even lift that much. <laughs> I mean, I can push that much up on my own body, but you gotta keep in mind, I'm taking some pressure off of 225 by, you know, being like this. I'm talking about lifting it with my chest. But yeah, you gotta be able to get your core exercises in. Like body weight squats, pull-ups, push-ups, oh shit, dips. Master those body weight movements. You don't need a whole bunch of weights and fancy shit like that. Haven't you seen people that do calisthenics? Have you guys seen their bodies? They got those crazy ass bodies. But yeah, make sure you get those in. Make sure you get your push-ups in if you're doing chest. This is the last tricep movement I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you all close up how I do it. So I just grab the handle right here, like it was one of my balls, and just grip it like this, right? And just pull it down, strict. I pull it behind my ass cheek. So it's kind of like, boom, like that. Like it's behind me, you guys see how it's behind me? But I'm pulling it straight down. So I'm like tucking my whole arm in, pulling it down behind my back. Why do I do that? Because I'm trying 
Ow, fuck me. I'm trying to work my tricep. So by pulling it back far, you're making your whole tricep work. If you just do it like right here, that's not gonna do anything. This is very sus, by the way. But if you like grab the thing, pull it back all the way here, you're gonna feel the most magnificent squeeze. So I'm not even gonna play with you all. I only did 15 total sets of triceps because I felt like my arms were already being worked doing the bench press and doing all the push-ups. I usually do dips, but I feel like I'm way too heavy right now in my weight to be doing dips because I feel like it's hurting like my elbows and my shoulders a little bit. But I did five sets of the flat barbell bench. I did five sets of the incline bench. I did five sets of push-ups, as many reps as I could. And now I'm doing this incline dumbbell fly that you guys have never seen me do. But it's almost like that warm-up set of those flies that I was doing that I'm showing you all right now. It's just with the dumbbell. So it's the same exact thing, but I'm just doing it with a different type of weight and a different type of style. Friday, April 23. What's good, Raves? Uh, today is a rest day. God damn, get out the camera! Oh my god, Mace, are you eating chicken tenders? Are you eating chicken tenders? Little fun fact, everybody. In about 99% of the thumbnails that I make, I just get them straight from the recording. I never, like, turn on the camera and be like, oh, or eh. But yeah, I just got done recording the scary animations. This is what the thumbnail looks like. It was actually so funny. I could not stop laughing. This video is gonna be out by the time you all see this vlog. But yeah, most of the time, 99% of the time, it's a thumbnail straight, straight from the source. Like straight from the source. Because, you know, I'm already laughing and making like faces with my mouth open anyway. So I kind of just scan things like that and then I look for a thumbnail. I don't ever like pose for thumbnails or anything like that. See, like this, right there. That's right here. Right there. Right there. See, straight from the source. What that mouth do, boy? Friday, April 24th, a package just came in. You guys can't see it, there's gonna be a sensor on here, but that's because I'm not allowed to show you. I wanna show you all so bad, so freaking bad, because I'm taking you all, you know, behind the scenes into my whole life, and I wanna show you all, but you guys will see my reaction, if I like it or not, so. Oh shit, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, that is so dope. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. That's cool. I never thought I'd be seeing something like this. That is freaking awesome. So, hopefully you guys get to see it soon. Well, you will see it soon. You'll know what I'm talking about. You'll look back at this and be like, oh. Okay, so as you know by now, whenever I do back and shoulders, I always warm up my back by doing five sets of pull-ups. My very first back workout of this entire diet, I only did two of the wide grip pull-ups and I did four of the close grip neutral. I ended up doing five of the wide grip. Check out how many I get here on both of these movements. kind of lazy right now so I got some gum to chew on just to take my mind off things and I also changed my shirt so I don't know I can look in that mirror over there kind of visualize how I want my body to look how I want my muscles to look sometimes you need that extra motivation sometimes you don't even want to work out like I really don't want to work out right now I actually just want to eat but you know it must be done so I changed my shirt and you know I'm just gonna visualize what I want my muscles to look like in the mirror so let's get this started
Sunday, April 25th, 8.48 a.m. Actually, 8.40 a.m. Why am I lying? Why am I the biggest liar right now? Yeah, it's 8.40 a.m., April 25th. Going to the basketball gym with my boys. Um, this guy's not coming with me. Sorry about that, bud. You can't guard me, that's why. So I'm gonna drop him off at my mom's house. And I'm also gonna be taking the microphone with me. You can see that right there. So I decided not to wear the microphone on my shirt because it kept getting pulled every time I dribbled. So I'm just gonna react to it right now. It is April 29th right now, 1.23 a.m. My birthday literally just passed and I'm trying to edit this video and get it up for you all. So I'm gonna be reacting to this right now. So um, I won the most games last session. So this time I get to bust, meaning I shoot first and I bricked it, okay? So my boy got the ball. If you had the ball and you shot it and you missed it, you gotta guard the person that gets the ball next. And my defensive stance is all whack. And I'm just trying to get into shape. You know, your boy's trying to get into shape. Look at that. That's a that's a grade F defense, okay? I'm not even gonna lie. That was some dog shit. And my boy just stroking it. My boy Weddy. And did I just say my boy stroking it? Come on. You know what I mean. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I was getting a little too aggressive. I was getting Chibi Chang hot. Ooh. Oh, give me some. Oh, give me, give me some. Give me some. You know what I do? Quit playing with me. And I wet that. Hey, you, know, you can't make this up. Did I wet this? No, I didn't. Okay, so now I got to go guard my boy over there. And he's a shooter. This man's a shooter shooter, but see? Defense on point. Knock that shit off his knees. And he just lays it on me. Bro, lays it on me. Like the bag of chip, he just lays it. He's probably going to make this, right? No, he's not. And I got the ball again. Usually I like waiting for them to come to me on defense so I can make the shot. Just like that. You know? You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm playing, guys. I'm playing. But yeah, uh, I guess the best thing about me is my shot. I feel like I shoot it pretty effortlessly. You know? But I don't like shooting free shots. Let me pause this real quick. I don't like shooting free shots. When you guys see me get the ball, I usually like slow down to wait for somebody to come to me. You'll see what I mean. But anyway, I got the ball back. Oh, take it to the left. Left hand. Don't make it. I am ambidextrous. I can use left and right hand equally because I am left-handed, but I shoot with my right, which is weird. But yeah. Ooh! Damn. I blocked that shit? Hey, I don't know I was defensive player of the year out here. And by the way, let me pause this real quick. I called out a few YouTube hoopers that, you know, are in the basketball scene. And they're actually really, really good. Like college level good, professional level good. I just want to play them once I'm in shape because I kind of want to see where my own skill level's at. Like, I don't even know how bad or good I am. I kind of want to see, like, if I can hang with good people. So that's another motivation of me trying to get into shape is because I want to see, like, where my skill level's at. Because basketball and video games are my two passions, and I just want to get back into shape. Like, I, I really want to get on the court and see where I stack up against, you know, good people. But yeah, watch. I'm going to wait for him to come. See? Oh, ooh, no handles. That's one thing I got to work on. To get my handle game up. Oh, I should have banked that. I was trying to use glass on that. And I got to get lower when I play D. And I got to get my hands out. But the thing is, I'm pretty tall. So I don't want to get too low. I want to use, like, my height advantage. So they can't see the, the ball. I mean, so they can't see the hoop, I mean. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Did I make that though? Yes, I did. That shit was wet as a motherfucker. Shit was wetter than a baby seal. God damn. Now I gotta guard him. That's my boy right there that's so shifty. Look at that. Bro, he's like 5'8", but he just knows how to use his body really, really well. Ooh. Hey. He got that floater game on lock. My boy's little bro got that floater game. I like those moves that he makes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here we go. What am I going to do? Ooh. Ooh. Bro. <laughs> I didn't know I had it like that. That was a nice move. That was actually a nice move. Damn. This 
This motherfucker's got a strap. Seriously. Like, they're all good shooters. Oh, I thought that was going in. I usually love making those shots because people are like, fuck, that's such a lazy ass pull up. <laughs> but I make it consistently. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Ooh, what am I gonna do here? No way. Oh! That looks so good! I feel like this day I was kinda tired, I'm not even gonna lie, from the working out, and then my boy just gives it to me. Just give me a freaking free throw line one legged floater type shit. I don't even know what that was, but it was nice though. Jeez. These motherfuckers are all snipers. So right now he got 18 points. He has to hit 21 to win the game. And that's important. He has to hit exactly 21 to win the game. Damn. Flat ass jumper. At least my ass ain't flat. See those cakes? See those cakes? Is he gonna score me for 20? Not with this defense. Not with this defense. Ooh, not with that defense. Ooh, block that shit. Block that shit. Give me that. Oh! Bro, the D in the lay? Stop playing with me, I want this win. But I can't even make those damn threes. Oh shit, I thought he was gonna make that. But yeah, guy right there in the beanie has 18. He has to make one shot, which is worth two, and then the, the three, the wide open three, which is one point. He can't go over or he goes back to 11 points. Just letting anybody know. So he has 20 right now. He has to make this shot or he goes back to 11. And he went back to 11. So your boy still got a chance. All right, here we go. Your boy got the ball back. What am I going to do? Nothing, apparently. I got to work on tightening up my handle. I got to work on tightening up my shot. What the hell was that? Bro, what was that? And I got scored on. Okay, so to get this straight, I mishandled the ball. Looking like a total dick. I airballed the shot. And I got scored on. Damn. Triple shits, dude. Bleh. Oh my god! Jeez. <laughs> Everybody just scoring, dude. The first time I was hooping, I was on point. But this time, like, I was so lazy. I can't be like that. Especially when I, like, call all these YouTube hoopers. I can't be lazy like that. That shit's just embarrassing. I'm better than this. All right, here we go, Jay. Come on. Oof. Yeah, boy. I got 16. Okay, so guy in the white and gray shirt got 18, I got 16. Shit. 16. So yeah, I got 16 points. Nah, I got 18 points. So I got the same amount of points as the guy who has the highest amount of points. Well, there we go. So me and the other guy got 18 points. So we're basically competing to finish the game against each other. Oh, so now we all got 18 points. Okay, so this is gonna get interesting. The beanie, the white shirt guy, and me have 18. And then the fourth guy, I think he has like 14 or 15, maybe 16. Okay, let's see what happens here. Fuck! Come on, Jay! What are you doing, bro? I'm putting up the dumbest shots. Like, looking back at this, after a week of like, um, this footage, bro, it's embarrassing. No way. Oh my God, dog. So he got 20 again. So he has to make this shot to win. <laughs> and he missed it. <laughs> so me and the guy guarding, we, um, I got 18. No. Oh! Oh, I almost sidestepped him. Yo, come on. That guy got 18. Now he got 20. So he has to hit this three to win the game. So now your boy got a chance. I'm the guy with 18. I'm the only guy with 18. That's why I'm smiling. I'm smiling right now. That's why I'm smiling. Because I already know I got this shit in the bag. And now I got to hit the three to win the game. 
Let's go! Let's go! Stop playing with me! But yeah, I won the first game of our 21 session. I need to be better though. Watching that footage back, I gotta be a lot better. We're gonna go back on Sunday and then I'm gonna resume training at that gym on Monday. So you're gonna see a different animal. I'm gonna go hard. And the person that's recording this right now, like me right now, um, I'm on the fourth week of dieting. I feel great. I'm pretty sure I have like a new low weigh in. Um, I just got my second dose of the vaccine and I'm feeling a lot better. It's been three days since I got my second dose of the vaccine. And I didn't weigh myself. You're gonna see why in a little bit. But I'm gonna play a few clips of my boys making some great moves because I just wanna highlight them because they are nasty as spook. So check this out. 10, 15 p.m. Sunday, April 25th. Weigh-in day is supposed to be tomorrow, but I'm not gonna weigh myself. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, why, why, Jay? We wanna know like the week-to-week -week progress of the weight. And trust me, I'm pretty sure that it's going down. But the reason why I'm not gonna weigh myself is because the numbers are gonna be very weird tomorrow because I am trying to stay hydrated as much as I can because I have the second shot of the vaccine tomorrow. And one of the tips that I read that worked for a lot of people is to stay hydrated the night before, right before the shot, after the shot, and just keep hydrating your system so you don't feel as much effects. So I'm trying to do that so I can get back to working out, I can keep making videos, I can keep taking care of things off YouTube, just, you know, things of that nature. And I feel like that's more important than the weigh-in. So I'm trying to get in as much water as I can. That's the reason why I'm not weighing myself because it's already super late at night and I'm just putting more water weight into my system so the numbers are gonna be all fucked up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna skip this week's weigh-in, wait till I'm 100% good after my second shot because I heard those are a bitch, like those are the ones where you feel most of the side effects. And hopefully hydrating myself constantly is gonna help me out. For next week's vlog, I want to answer some questions as I go through like the week of dieting. So if you have any questions, if you you know wanna know something about like the diet or working out or just questions you have in general, let me know down low in the comments because from day to day, I'm gonna check the comments on that video and I'm gonna be reading them throughout the whole vlog. So let me know. But yeah, I'm not gonna weigh myself tomorrow, but just know that I'm sticking to the diet. Didn't eat anything bad. I haven't even had one cheat meal yet. Not one, not one cheat meal. Aside from that slip up last week where I ate like a small handful of munchies, I did not have a cheat meal. My cheat meal is the exact one month date that I started dieting, which will be on the 5th, 6th, or 7th. Depending on, you know, when everyone can go eat because I don't wanna eat alone. I don't wanna have a cheat meal by myself. But yeah, I'm gonna be having that at the one month mark. But hopefully everybody's having a good diet, good workout. I mean, if you're bulking, you know, trying to gain some muscle, trying to gain some weight, good luck with that too. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video of the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!